I'm in Deschler, Nebraska, bringing you coverage of the Fremo event sponsored by Spring Creek Model Trains on Ron's Trains and Things right now. Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more model railroad tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure to subscribe down below and click that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. Today, I'm coming to you from Deschler, Nebraska, home of Spring Creek Model Trains, where I'm bringing you coverage of their Fremo event. I'm looking forward to going down to the event center and seeing the large, impressive HO and N-scale modular setups that are running there. But first, we're gonna head into Spring Creek. We're gonna visit with Dave Zucker, the owner of Spring Creek Model Trains, learn a little bit about his shop, as well as about this event and other events that they sponsor from here in Deschler. So let's head on inside and see what we can find out. Before we talk to Dave, let me tell you a little bit about Deschler, Nebraska, home to Spring Creek Model Trains and the Fremo weekend that I attended. Deschler is a small agrarian town in south central Nebraska. It has a population of just 747, and it is several hours away from the nearest sizable city. It is an unusual spot to find a successful and growing model railroad shop, to say the least. But Dave Zucker and his family have made a growing and thriving shop here in their hometown. This Fremo weekend that they host is an opportunity for people across the country who have modules in either HO or N scales built according to Fremo standards to come connect their modules together into large setups and to have a lot of fun running trains and showing them to the public. Now here's Dave to tell us a little more about the shop and the Fremo event that they hosted. I'm here at Spring Creek Model Trains with owner Dave Zucker and Spring Creek is sponsoring the Fremo event this weekend, and so we're excited to be here in the store and to visit with Dave and his family a little bit. Dave, this has been a family business for you all for about 20 years, is that right? Yes, we started in 2000. In 2000. Well, tell me how you came to start a model railroad shop, and especially how you came to start it in a place like Deschler, Nebraska. Nebraska. Yeah, well, those are all good questions. Um, Model trains have been a passion of mine since I was 10 when I got my first train set under the Christmas tree. And I grew up here in Deschler all my life and I've been in the construction business. I felt comfortable living here knowing that I could make a good living with my construction business. And the model train hobby store was just a dream of mine. I had no idea it would turn out to be like this. Well. So, being in a small town and, and a long way from, from large cities, do you do a lot of a lot of mail order, a lot of internet business? How how what do you, how do you account for it? Because you obviously, I mean, you've got a great stock here. You're obviously doing doing mm -hmm. well. Yes. Uh, yes. What accounts for your success in a small town well, like this? Well, uh, definitely the internet. Mm -hmm. um, it has saved us through the COVID crisis. Uh, we've been blessed this past year with uh, the website taking off and shipping all over the world. Um, all over the country. So far, you're doing well. We, we, we pray that continues for you all. Mm -hmm. Let, let's talk a little bit about the, the Fremo event. Now, I understand this is the third year you all have, have hosted this yes. event. Yes, this is our third year. Uh, it just started with a group of friends that are in the Fremo HO world. Uh, I enjoy the layouts when I see them because they're always different everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. And they contacted us and wanted to know about renting the building here at our county fairgrounds. And uh, so Debbie and I just took it from there. We decided we would pay the rent and just open it up to the general public and let's have fun this weekend. And you were able to hold this event last year, even even in a COVID situation. Yeah, it was later than normal. Mm -hmm. uh, we like to do it in the spring, normally speaking, but last year we did it in August when uh, things started to get better. Do you, do you expect this to be the largest uh, of these that you've had as far as the Fremo events are concerned? Definitely. Or? We've yeah. got uh, 37 guys here this weekend with modules, and they come from all corners of the 48 states. And I understand that in-scale setup is supposed to be pretty impressive this year. I mean, uh, it is. It's, it's a lot of fun to walk around. Uh, some excellent modeling. Uh, the size is just incredible. 
I can't wait to hear how long it takes to run a train from one corner of the layout all the way around and get back to the, where you started. The last so. I saw was 17 scale miles. That's that's incredibly impressive. Yes. So. Yeah. We're so. actually looking at possibly starting next year doing two separate weekends, an HO weekend and an N scale weekend so that this can continue uh, to grow and see what we can do. Well, that's so. exciting. We look forward to that. Why don't you tell everybody your, your website for, for your store? Uh, www.springcreekmodeltrains. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you hosting this weekend. <laughs> well. And uh, we look forward to going over and, and seeing the Fremo layouts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I'm here with Bruce Hoberger, and Bruce is with the Missouri Valley Fremo, and he's the one who has helped to organize the HO scale setup here today. And Bruce, tell us a little bit about Fremo first off. I've had some people ask, what is Fremo? What makes Fremo different from other modular systems? Tell us a little bit about Fremo. Okay, well, Fremo was originally developed out of California, and it moved across the country, became very popular, especially people with not home layouts. They, the modules are higher than the regular module track you'll see at train shows where they ground in circles. But these are set up to a specific standard, which is Fremo.org has the standards. And then we can put all the modules together in any pattern we have. And like our setup here today, uh, it didn't fit exactly what we wanted, so we just modified it switched it around, made a big S-curve instead of, well, we had an S-curve, turned out to be more of a big J-hook. And that's the, the, the great thing about Fremo is it can fit the space that you have as long as you have the correct modules and all the modules are interchange. Uh, we do have double track modules that match up with double track, single track that matches with single track, and then we have what we call two to ones that we can go double the single track. So we have a lot of variety, we have sidings, and Fremo, uh, you get higher end models, a little more detailing that you see. It's like a home layout, but done by individuals that we all come together and set up for shows or events like this. Sure. Uh, now, tell us about the HO setup here today. How many, how many modules are here involved? And how many, how many people are Ooh, part of modules. this in HO? Uh, I think we've got... We got 17 people here. Okay. Uh, they're from Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri, and Iowa. Mm -hmm. And there's approximately, I would say, I think 63 modules here. Okay. And oh, we scaled it out once. I'm not sure how many feet. Yeah, that's yeah, but, that's okay. But it's it's a it's a beautiful beautiful setup. And, yeah, uh, really enjoying uh, rail fanning it here here today. Uh, yeah. Tell me a little bit about your experience with how long have you been involved in Fremo and with Missouri Valley? Well, I've only been involved about five years. First couple of years, I just went and saw what it was like. A few of my friends were doing it, and I said I kind of like this. We traveled to different cities and set up. Uh, I happen to be. Uh, I was given two six foot modules which I, I, you know, scrapped the scenery and then built my own modules to what I wanted. And that's the beauty of it. You can build it any way you want. Uh, when you look around, we have different industries, different scenery, bridges, water, uh, whatever you, your interests are, you can build. And some people own 
one person here brought 12 modules all his own because oh, yeah. he doesn't have a home layout. Right. This is his layout. You store them in a little bit of space and yes. then go to a, go to a show or... Now, do you travel to quite a few shows during a, a normal year? Uh, uh, yes, I do. I In February, I was down in uh, uh, Fort Worth, Texas at a show. Sure. Uh, we got this show here. And in May, I'm going to go to McLean, Illinois for a show there. Okay, so you've got so, a busy spring here. Yeah, then, so and, and there's more. I mean, there's more shows down the road. So Sure, sure. So. Well, I'd say I've, I've really enjoyed uh, seeing all the layouts uh, or the, the modules here today. Uh, but this one behind us is one of yours. Why don't you tell us just a little bit about this? Because it's a, a very, uh, uh, very, very impressive structure on a, okay. on a really nice module. This is a United States cold storage. It's here in Omaha. Uh, it's modified to fit the module a little bit. Normally the building is is twice as long and a lot deeper. And they uh, take in rail cars into the building to unload the frozen foods and they go out by the trucking, mm -hmm. of which I've, I've modified besides that. I've got the fan exchanger up here that I've got on a program where the fans actually move. And I've got lights on the end of the building for showing if the doors are there. And I got an operating door because once the cars are put in, the door closes and opens. So it's a very, very nice module. It's a yeah. great, great model. Would be a great model on any yeah, layout. Thank but you. Uh, glad that you were able to bring us today, Bruce. Thank you so much for, for oh. your time and sharing with us a little thank bit you, about uh, about Fremo. And okay. uh, we're really enjoying the day today. Thanks for, right. for helping uh, be a part of it. I'm here with Mark Watson, who is with uh, Fremo, Nebraska, and uh, has uh, helped to do a little bit of the organization for today's event on the N-Scale side. And uh, Mark, we're in interested to hear about the setup here, but also interested to hear a little bit about your experience with, with uh, Fremo. So uh, first of all, tell me a little bit about uh, how long have you been involved in, in Fremo and, and Fremo, Fremo, Nebraska? Uh, well, I got started in Fremo uh, maybe about 10 years ago. Uh, when I was going to college out in San Francisco, uh, I met a guy doing uh, building his first module, mm -hmm. and he took me along to an NMRA, NMRA show to uh, test it out. Uh, instantly hooked, uh, just because you can do things the way that real railroads do them, rather than three tracks down the main or built rectangular right. layouts. Right. Uh, so 
uh, ended up moving back to Nebraska and, and built a few modules here. And it just kind of took off from there. And now we got to, now we have a layout that has 17 scale miles, uh, joined with people from 10 different states, uh, 126 modules. 126. 126. Total. Every time, yeah. every time I've seen that advertised, <laughs> it gets bigger and bigger. So that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, we, we have a couple show up that uh, people forgot they had in the trailer and we were working in because there that's what go. we can do with Fremo. There you go. Well, I knew that the setup was uh, a little bit different than what I had even seen the last estimate to be, but, uh, uh, this is so big in the convention center here, you're actually taking up parts of three different rooms. This is a pretty massive uh, in-scale setup. Yeah, we, we originally had this room, and we had to extend into the bigger room, and then we ran out of more room, so we had to find a way to get into the storage room, yeah. move yeah. some tables around. That's that's awesome. So so you travel for, how far did you travel to come here today to, to this particular event? 68 miles. 68 miles. So this is close for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not so close for probably most people who, no. are, who are coming today. Uh, how, many, how many events like this do you all typically do in a normal, normal year? Uh, on our best year, we did eight events okay. uh, from anywhere here local uh, all the way to Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, <clears throat> anything else you can tell me about the setup here today? You said 17 scale miles. That comes out to what in the 580, 580 feet? 590 yes, feet. I was thinking somewhere, somewhere like that. Uh, it uh, takes a while to walk 17 scale miles, even. You know? yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, definitely a, a lot to see here. Uh, tell me about some of the highlights as far as some of the modules that you've got here today. There's too many to mention all of them. Uh, okay. We have uh, a pretty cool one here from Delaware. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of a valley curve. Uh, Lee has got uh, some. Plumber Junctions, uh, well, that, that was not here today, but he's got uh, some farmland. I saw uh, the most interesting reverse loop I've ever seen over there that's like a double my, figure eight or something. Yeah, that's my father's reverse loop. Okay, uh, yeah. It's, comes in around over it. and uh, It's cool. Yeah. Takes a couple of people, uh, a couple of minutes to realize this reverse loop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it did me. Oh, well, it's at the end of the section, so I guess that kind of gives it away. Yeah. But, yeah, it's a, it's a cool, cool module. So. Yeah. So, well, I really appreciate all the work you've done here, and uh, this is a lot of fun, and I uh, appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you.
Well, I personally had a great time at this Fremo event, and I want to thank the Zucker family and Spring Creek Model Trains for hosting it, and I think it's going to be a fantastic show as it continues to grow in years to come. Well, if you enjoy watching the trains run on these Fremo modules, I made a video at the National Train Show a couple of years ago in Kansas City where I caught trains running on Fremo modules as well as other modular setups and several home layouts. And you can check that video out in the link in the corner of your screen right now. Be sure and check out the description down below where you're going to find links to uh, those Fremo standards for both HO scale and N scale as well as for Spring Creek model trains. You're also going to find my Amazon page, my Amazon pick of the week, my Micromark promo code, and tons of other great links. So be sure and check all of that out. Well, if you'd like to see some more Model Railroad content right now, check out the links on your screen. And be sure and join me each Tuesday as I bring you even more great Model Railroad content. And I look forward to seeing you then. 10, Lizzie?